Hey everybody, it's 20 to 11 in the morning on December 31st, 2014, New Year's Eve. And I just got in the post uh, December's arcade block, which was uh, shipped a lot a little uh, few days earlier this month uh, due to the Christmas rush. And actually, I'm genuinely surprised it got here when it did. I didn't expect it to turn up till like next week or something, knowing what Royal Mail's like. Uh, I just got done from an eight and a half hour long uh, gaming session uh, with May to December. And I was going to go to bed, except then the postman turned up. So uh, I was considering waiting and, and doing this video later, but I uh, thought I'd get this out of the way now. So if I seem a little out of it, I really apologize. I'm really tired, uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing this because um, uh, as I said last month, <coughs> we found out that this month would include a portal item. And I don't think I could rave on about that game anymore if I tried, so I will try not to in this uh, unboxing. Uh, but there's a Portal item, uh, a Super Smash Brothers item, and a Halo item. They're the only things I know about uh, what I've been uh, emailed about. Didn't even get told what the t-shirt was going to be this month, so uh, uh, interested to see that. Uh, I like Halo. Um, I have played the like the first uh, few games. I haven't played like ODST and and like the the little extra games and stuff. Uh, but I really enjoy Halo. I I would love to when I get an Xbox One to get the uh, new uh, Halo collection, uh, Master Chief collection. Uh, and I'm a huge fan of Super Smash Brothers. Uh, Kirby is easily my favourite character to play as. Uh, watching Yoshi ship people out, uh, ship characters out as uh, eggs is always hilarious. Uh, I know Meta Knight is like the big one to go for because he kicks ass. Um, but I think he's uh, a bit too uh, too obvious to pick sometimes. So Kirby's my favourite. He flies, he sucks people's in and steals their abilities and stuff. So. I love Smash Bros. Uh, I haven't got the Wii U, so I haven't had a chance to play. And uh, my mate Donna doesn't. She has a Wii U, but she hates Smash Bros. So uh, unfortunately, I've not had a, uh, an opportunity to play the new one yet, which has, uh, I know, Pac Man and that in. Uh, but uh, enough rambling on, I guess. Let's uh, see what's in here. t-shirt on the top <gasps> Ooh. oh yeah. okay that's fine <laughs> the t-shirt which my dog will not get his white hair all over go away Mulder go away um the t-shirt is um, so it is this, this is the Super Smash Bros. Uh, item in the style of uh, GTA Vice City's uh, um, <laughs> GTA Vice City's uh, logo and uh, artwork. I like that. That's really stylish. Super Smash Bros. Brawl City. <sighs> I like that. That's really uh, quite bright. I look forward to wearing that. Uh, oh, fucking Zelda item. Can you guess? Not a big Zelda fan. Um, so I don't know what it is. So I'm going to look really stupid now. <coughs> I gotcha. holes in the top. I would assume there's not something alive in there. Looks like it might be a little, uh, looks like one of those Skylanders things. Let's open it. It looks like it's a little figure on a, on a stand or something. I have a knife here. Watch me as I cut myself. This is always fun to see me playing with knives, seriously. Um, I don't know 
why it's got so many holes in the bloody thing. It's like a Kinder Egg. And for those of you who don't know what Kinder Eggs are, I feel so, so sad for you. Um, <laughs> this is going to be an impressive video, people. Okay, now. It's, it is a, it's a figure that stands on a thing. It's a, um, yeah. <laughs> Phantom Hourglass, uh, Collect All Five. Yeah, it's something I have no absolutely clue. I do not know what the character is. As a genie style character, I don't know who it is. Uh, this means nothing to me. Um. Mm. That was a complete waste of. Uh... <laughs> that's his base. Comes with little fixings, uh, and that's the character. I don't know if you can see. Clearly, I'll when I do the video that you're probably seeing now. I'll do a shot of the um, picture. But whoever it is. I'm sure it's awesome, uh, but yeah, I'm not bothered, so that's a bit of a dud. <clears throat> Halo. Forerunner Lanyard. Corner Runner Reclaimer Glyph CD Molded Rubber Charm. Okay. So it's a Halo Lanyard. Not a very big one, actually. Um, yeah. I guess. I was expecting something more awesome, like, I don't know, Master Chief Helmet or something, but. Well, it's a bit bleh. It looks very more Tronish than Halo. Um, I mean, look at this. It just looks like <laughs> Tron. <laughs> it's got this funky <coughs> pass holder that's all screwed up and not very nice. So that's not the greatest that you'd want to put any pass in. Um, yeah, it's a bit tacky to be honest. And that's uh, the rubber charm. The rubber charm's at least quite thick. Um, but yeah, that's a bit... Hmm. That's a bit... That's quite blur. <laughs> I'm genuinely disappointed with that. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, that wasn't it. Um, there we go. Touch control joystick for touch screens. Works with all touch screen phones and tablets. Dude. No way. ASTP. That's pretty awesome. I like that. I may have to try that out. It's a little uh, joystick on a on a Choose a game to play, stick the sucker over the centre of the on-screen controller. The electroconductive rubber will now touch the screen as uh, touch the screen as you use the joystick, allowing you to play a more precise game. It's a it's a little metallic kind of uh, joystick on a keychain. Um that apparently you can use on your phone. Um, that is actually quite cool. Uh, it's not something I would do on my phone. Uh, I do have a smartphone. Um, <coughs> it's not something because of the size of the screen. It's not something that I um, play games on. Um, but it's quite neat. I like it. It's 
a nice little lure thing. Again, can't go wrong with uh, joysticks and stuff, so I like it. It's a bit blare, but. Portal 2. Oh, please say this is what I hope it is. I think it is. If you go in Forbidden Planet, you can get portal scarves. And I've been after for a while for some uh, one for some time. Except they're a bit pricey. They're like £12 or something. Now, this doesn't look like it's the same one as that. But it definitely looks <laughs> like it's a scarf. Yeah, it's not the one I was hoping for. But that's nice. I'll just go. Nice aperture science, uh, aperture laboratories. Uh, I don't like the way it's all scrunched up. Probably do with a bit of an iron. Look at that, that's nice. That's actually really thick as well. I think that's a bit thicker than the one you can get from uh, uh, from Forbidden Planet. Um, the one you can get from Forbidden Planet has the blue and orange ends. And I think it's uh, grey on the back. Um, so this one's a bit more bland but I like that I'm really happy with that because I have been after one of these things for a while and I didn't have to pay for it so um I mean obviously I did because I paid for the uh, arcade block but yeah I'm really I'm really chuffed with that and the last item is a Sonic and the Hedgehog okay Sonic Collector's Edition Fridge Magnets Okay Oh they all come apart I kind of don't like that In a way I would have liked it if they'd all been like one Magnet or something um, But it's uh, The rings and uh, The um, From Green Hill the, 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 the floor And you got the uh, tails and knuckles and Sonic and Dr. Robotnik and uh, spinning Sonic and the TV, the coin TV and, and stuff like that. And they're all um, separate that you can put in your fridge. I like that, I do. Don't get me wrong. That's really cool. I'm really happy with that. Uh, but I guess I would have liked something just to... Because <coughs> stuff, stuff like this can easily get lost. Uh, but that's pretty cool. That'd be fun to do. Problem is, is I have a lot of stuff on my fridge. I collect magnets from places that I go. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> there's not really the space for this kind of thing on my fridge. Um, but I, I do like that. That's quite fun. Um, this, yeah, this has been an odd one. Um, the Halo lanyard was genuinely disappointing. Um, T-shirt I am happy with, definitely. Portal item, it's not. <coughs> it's not quite what I was expecting, but at the same time, I am definitely very, very happy with it. Um, uh, I, I'm no complaining because, like I say, I have been after one of these for ages. Uh, the joystick thing is quite funky. Sonic magnets, I like. Um, uh, the Zelda thing and the lanyard have been the most disappointing. Um, but, again, I, this is something that I'm happy to keep paying for. Uh, and I really, really uh, enjoy, I like getting this kind of... You know what, like I was saying recently, um, the, the nerd block I kind of... Uh, they've been trying to entice me back, and they're doing a theme this month, uh, far, far, a galaxy far, far away. The kind of I was, I was tempted to go back for, but it's that kind of stuff. I'm not really bothered about getting the memorabilia and and all that kind of thing. Uh, whereas I love getting this gaming memorabilia, and uh, like I say, I I I enjoy seeing a lot of this stuff. So uh, again, I'm happy with this month hasn't disappointed me uh i expect to see zelda stuff i said it before you do you just expect it to be there and 
I don't even know what I expected for the Halo item. I just something that looked actually more Halo than, and than Tron. And there's nothing wrong with Tron. If I were getting a Tron item, I would have been happy. Um, <coughs> but I, I, I guess I was expecting more like the, he the Master Chief's helmet or something like that. But uh, anyway. I'm sorry this has been a da bit of a downer, um, like I say, I do really like this, I'm definitely sticking, I will be definitely uh, looking forward to getting my block next month, uh, I believe there's a plants versus zombies item in next month's one, so that'll be interesting, um, as long as it's not magnets again, <laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching, uh, Please do check out Nerdblock's um, website if you're interested in getting some of this stuff. And uh, uh, please tune in uh, next month for uh, the next unboxing. Uh, thanks again. Take care. A very, very happy new year to everybody. Uh, hope you stick to your any resolutions that you make and, and stuff. And I hope you have a lovely time with friends, family uh, and whoever else. Even if it's yourself and your pets or, or whatever, I hope you uh, have a lovely new year and uh, it brings you all much happiness and he good health. But uh, for now though, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching again. Take care and uh, see you later.